I'm Hans Lewis Grimt. You're watching Freedom Academy. To become a global citizen, to become a cosmopolitan, to become a citizen of the world is one of the really important strategies that I recommend for your personal freedom. To internationalize yourself. Get your credit card out of the U.S., get your email out of the U.S. as much as possible, get your savings and money out of the U.S., and become a picker and chooser of different kinds of jurisdictions, different kinds of countries. Something is good in one country, something is bad in another country, but spread yourself out. That's you know one of my absolute recommendations. And one of the things that you want to do is you want to try to travel overseas. And... Uh, Create uh, almost like a life for yourself or a dimension for yourself outside the U.S. And this does not have to be very complicated. You can drive to Mexico or drive to Canada or, or take a ferry boat over to the Bahamas and uh, establish that presence outside the U.S. that way. Or you can look around, you know, sometimes in the low seasons you can get really inexpensive tickets to fly to Asia or to Europe. And it doesn't have to be kind of a, a millionaire kind of thing that only the rich can do. You can do this on a budget and on a shoestring. And it really is something that will liberate you. What you want to do when you travel overseas is you want to bring some cash with you. I believe the limit in what you can bring with cash without having to declare it is $10,000. So bring $10,000 in cash. And you go overseas. Maybe get a bank deposit box. In, you know, maybe you can fly to London for, for a cheap sum. Go to London, get yourself a bank account, maybe even get yourself a bank deposit box, and take this cash, buy some gold coins, put them in the bank deposit, uh, get a credit card on that, uh, on that um, uh, bank account that you get in a British bank, and also, you know, establish a presence, take in the ambiance. Maybe even establish a, a post uh, office box uh, and a forwarding service in that country so you can order stuff globally and send it to your UK address or anywhere else in the world. Hong Kong is also good. I, I really like Hong Kong. And uh, start thinking globally. Start looking at yourself as a global citizen, as a cosmopolitan, not just an American or, or a Canadian or, or a Norwegian or a German, but as a citizen of the world and take action towards becoming that. And also, I wouldn't say too much to my friends and to the government and to everyone about what you have going on overseas. You know, it's none of their business. Uh, some of it you might have to tell the IRS, but you know, yeah. I'm, I'm not telling you to tell them more than you have to, but um, you are uh, expected to uh, to tell them what you have of assets outside the U.S., so you know you might have to do that. But you don't have to tell the IRS that you have a mail address in the U.K. and a forwarding service or uh, or other kinds of activities. You can even have a... You, you don't necessarily... If you set up a trust in Hong Kong and a company... You don't, you know, you are not the owner of that company. The trust is, and you are just a person that's related to the trust. So there, there are ways around. I don't necessarily recommend that because it's kind of costly, but it says something about the things you can do, the kind of activities that you can that you can do. And uh, also, if you know, if uh, they go after you in the U.S., if they sue you, or if the IRS goes after you, you have the option of bailing out. You have the option of skipping the country, you know, just getting out. I see more and more people are doing that now. I subscribe to a website called uh, escapefromamerica.com, and people are thinking in those kind of terms all the time, more and more, getting out, you know, and having the, at least the option of getting out. The, the traditional thing to do is, to, you know, to head off down to Mexico. But if you prepare in advance, you can have a bank account and you can have a life outside the U.S. They don't, they, they don't really have that grip on you. You want to get yourself out of the grip of the government as much as possible. Just establish a life outside. You're watching Freedom Academy. I'm Hans Lusklimt. Uh, this 